I'm your host Kinetic, and you're watching Game On End. Hello, welcome to our add-on series. Today, we'll take a look at the add-on Mask. So Mask is another plug-in type add-on. Uh, it doesn't really have any functionality in itself um, other than modifying uh, other elements um, of your UI, such as uh, action bars or the buffs, uh, similar things to that. So we previously had used the add-on dominoes, so let's take a look at that for the unit frames. So as we can see, this has replaced the unit frames, um, but it's not doing anything necessarily visually. It's just taken all of the buttons, stripped off the other things, let us move around these action bars and all that. So, But it doesn't give us any functionality to actually modify uh, the way these buttons look. Uh, for some people, this may be fine. Um, for others, having no background the way the default UI has got like the filled in gray backgrounds and things like that uh, may make it difficult to kind of see uh, what's going on down here. Sometimes being able to block this off uh, can help. So let's load up mask. Okay. So we will pull up mask here. And we can see that it gives us a list of available add-ons that can be skinned and then global settings. So if you would like to not have this uh, touch anything else in the game, uh, then that's fine. You can disable the global settings and you can just go to the add-on. So let's take a look at the add-on dominoes. And what we can do is we can choose between a couple of default settings here. Now as you can see the action bars are actually changing the way the buttons themselves look. So this is giving us button changes. There are also some uh, settings you can use for gloss, but we also have backdrop settings here. Now you can get down into certain things, like if you don't want certain things to be modified um, within the add-on, if it gives you a breakdown here, you can do that. So we can have it, say, not adjust the buffs or debuffs, um, or some of the extra buttons, or the pet bar, things like that. For now, we'll just leave it uh, modifying all these things. But as you can see, the default out-of-the-box uh, add-on doesn't give you a ton to work with. So this is where plugins come in. So let's take a look here. We have a few installed just to test, um, but there are dozens of these. Uh, these are all user-created. Um, content. So people have designed uh, skins for buttons, action bars, etc. Um, and uploaded them. And you can look through the screenshots usually and get an idea of what they look like. But sometimes it's nice to just install a few and uh, see where they go. So let's take a look here. Uh, now with these we can actually install them all at the same time. Uh, because we're just going to be able to select them from that menu we were in before. So, what it gives us now is a lot more options here for the skins. And we can see the Gears plugin that we did, the flat squares, the Diablo 3, the Renatra and uh, then the stock ones, of course. So let's take a look at a few here and see how they change the action bars. 
So as you can see now, they've customized the shape um, of the buttons and they've given us a cool little highlighting when you mouse over them. And now in most of these, you do have the option to adjust any of these settings. So if you do want that backdrop, like we talked about, you can enable that. And then of course you can also customize how opaque it is. Um, you can also adjust the color if you like. Gears setting here. Now this is a good example here. As you can see, because we have the mini-map being replaced by dominoes, this is also skinning our buttons here and the mini-map. Um, so you do have the option here to go in and change this um, to something different independently which is the cool part of this that you can break this down and uh, modify this to look really whatever way you'd like Um, you can also stop it from skinning just this individual th thing. And like I said, there are dozens of these. Um, so really install a few and uh, find one that you like. Have fun with it. That will do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this, remember, pressing the like button is absolutely free. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Game on End.